Shark Week is here. The blues suddenly scatter, indicating something larger might be approaching. Andre's out on one of the weeks. We're keeping our eyes out. Are you ready? Get ready to sink your teeth into Shark Week 2023, even if you are not. But there are so many people are glued to Discovery Channel for the infamous Shark Week, celebrating 35 years. And to have the celebration right here on our air, I am excited to welcome to the show today shark attack survivor and conservationist Paul D. Gelder, an underwater cinematographer, filmmaker, and professional free diver, Andre Musgrove. Welcome, gentlemen. Are you guys ready? Shark Week is back. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Best time of the year. I like it. I like it. You are not alone. So many people appointment viewing will say, uh, Paul, I want to go ahead and start with you. Let's break it down. Every year it seems to get bigger, better. You feel like you're there even watching through your television screen. What are you excited about most this year? Oh, geez. It's like asking me what my favorite shark is. The whole <laughs> week is going to be amazing. We got Andre's awesome shows. We got adventures all around the globe. We got the best cameras, the best cinematographers, the best sharks. Like this whole week is going to be an epic, epic time. Speaking of epic time, Andre, I want to get your take. How about an epic host? I'm even loving the promos with Jason Momoa as he's a, a music conductor in a way with Sharks. Talk about his role and how it just does tie it together because just another way that this year is going to be bigger and better. Yeah, so I mean, to have somebody who has played Aquaman as a hero um, host Shark Week, I think is very streamlined. Um, nothing. Not to be uh, funny, but I think it's amazing that it, I mean, a local guy from growing up on an island similar to similar to me, um, get people excited about sharks. I mean, he's, he seems like an amazing personality to get people really excited and pumped up and hope people tune in. And Paul, we're of course taking a look, getting to know you a little bit uh, in my introduction, of course. Yes, you are a shark attack survivor. We're uh, getting to know you a little bit here. Um, so it's interesting to hear that title. I would, I think many, many people would be with me, wouldn't assume that you would still have a love and a fascination for sharks the way that you do. <laughs> Talk about how that experience made you even more interested, perhaps? But way more, because before the shark attack, when I was in the Navy, I actually, actually hated sharks. <laughs> I didn't see the point of them. I knew nothing about them. I just figured if we killed them all, then we can swim in the ocean and we didn't need to worry about a single thing. Like being a Navy diver, I was in the water all the time. And it was always a thing on the back of my mind that I had to worry about sharks. And um, then one day comes along and there's a 10 foot bull shark eating me alive. Um, but I chose a dangerous life. You know, I was doing all the crazy stuff in the army, then the Navy, and, and I wrote a big black Italian sports bike. At least this way, I get a cool story out of it. And now I get to work on Shark Week as well. And so out of the, the worst day of my life has come the greatest opportunity. So how can I even be mad? You know what, there's a life lesson in there as well. Even take the sharks out of it, something traumatic you've really been able to use. and. Uh, and of course, now be a part of Shark Week, as you put it. Andre, I want to get your take. Uh, you know, Paul joked he couldn't pick the favorite shark. Uh, in your special, Monster Mako, uh, you're talking about a little dynamic that happens, shark versus shark. And as a free diver, did you ever have that initial element of being, you know, fearful of sharks, but now you are appreciating and able to dive into perhaps a favorite shark of yours? I mean, I think that's a pretty tough question for me also. What is my favorite shark? Because so many of them are so amazing and they're all different. That's the thing. The Mako is fastest fish in the sea. They can go faster than 45 miles per hour. There's like tiger sharks and white sharks and the blue sharks who are like, who I describe as like pelagic nurse sharks in a way. Um, just interacting with these sharks, they almost, it seems like they'll have different personalities based on how they act and different tendencies. It's extremely hard to pick which one is a favorite, but my first instinct and my, my first appreciation from shark and experience didn't come from a place of fear. It came from a place of respect. So growing up here in the Bahamas, going spearfishing with my dad, 
on the weekends. We would encounter sharks in the ocean, like we would see them, but we always just move butts because we're visitors in their waters. They're the top predator there. We're taking food out of their home. Like if someone was to pull up unexpected and just take food out of your fridge, I mean, you probably won't be the most happy, um, but you might let them do it because you're a nice like, person. You never know. Um, but I always love sharks and I, I think I'll always love them no matter what. Well, we only have a few seconds left. Paul, I, I want to you know, dive into uh, your shows that you're going to be working on. It hits home. I'm not going to lie. I'm one of those people who love the beach. I'm always worried where my first grader is in the water and if there's any sharks around or mom when I'm out there with her. Uh, Florida shark, blood in the water. That hits home here in Tampa Bay, Paul. And deadly sharks of paradise. That hits home again. We have some of the best beaches here. Uh, give us a glimpse of what those are about and why I shouldn't necessarily be fearful but just tune in to check it out and learn something. Well, as fantastic as the titles are, the main goal in all of this is to get people to fall in love with sharks, but also to keep humans safe when they're coming into contact with sharks, how we can stay off their radar, how we can stay away from being eaten, because trust me, it doesn't tickle. I don't want anyone else to go through this. And so we're looking at ways for humans to stay safe and also while exploring how incredible these sharks are, like Andre was saying, it's almost like they each have a different personality and they're all so different and so amazing. So the fact that we get to share this with you guys, keep you safe, keep the sharks safe, you know, I feel like that's a win for everyone. I, I agree, keep everybody safe, but also entertaining everybody. Begins Sunday night, July 23rd at eight o'clock. Of course, Discovery Channel Shark Week begins. Gentlemen, thank you both so much for your time.